Welcome to Truck and Chubby Sports. Where we back in our yapping. We ain't never capping. That's a factin'. So what's happening? Not a coach. Not a pro. No X's. No O's. Just the fans point of view. And what we know. Let's go. Yo, 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 what's up with everybody about this, man? What's up? What's going on? As y'all can see, pulled up on my screen, I had none other than a Russell Wilson, Kenny Pickett, and Justin Fields, because we already know what the dilemma is in Pittsburgh, and I'm going to keep talking about it, and then I'm going to make another video if we grab him, and I'm going to be super excited in it if we grab Justin Fields, that is. Um... Right now, I'm kind of confused on the ploy that we're trying to run. Um, we're, right now, we're stuck in our old school ways of um football, and as you can see, uh, the old school is not in anymore. Um, whether you're in the NFL or a, you're in college football, it's just not there anymore. Um, these young men are getting used to the NIL, the NIL, right? And before I get started with this video, like, can a team put in a bid for a pick already, or do they have to go to the NFL draft? You know what I mean? You know you're a first-round pick. Like, go where you want to go, right? Somebody's going to do that one day. Somebody's going to grab, get up, and just say, you know what? I don't want this team to draft me. I know I'm a first-round pick. I'm going to go walk on somewhere else and sign a rookie contract or a one-year $15 million deal with said team, show out, and then perform there, right, or whatever. I think that may happen. I don't know. I, 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 I'm optimistic out here. I'm optimistic. All right, but um, no, we know that there's rumors that Russell Wilson may be meeting with us, the Pittsburgh Steelers, and – to be honest with you, I don't like this move. I just don't like this move, man. Um, there's, I mean, I don't want to get it twisted because Russell Wilson's completion percentage and touchdown uh, to interception ratio was one of the best. And like last year, I think I, I can't remember, was it around week eight, week seven last year, something like that. Um, but it just was. And it things just didn't work out in Denver, but it's his age that's getting me. And 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 it's the football years, I should say. I don't want to say age, right? It's the football years that he has in and around the league. You know what I mean? With me, you know. And yeah, Kenny could come in, and we'll have a nice veteran backup. You know what I'm saying? And so forth and so on. Let's not forget that Mitchell Trubisky just signed back with the Bills. Um, Sean McDermott really likes Mitchell Trubisky. Um, they see something in him, some similarities to Josh Allen, I guess. Um, and look, I don't think that the office that we ran was right for Mitchell, Mitchell Trubisky. He did the best he could to play in that. And, um, because I didn't think Mitchell Trubisky was bad at all. I think he should have been our bridge quarterback and starter up until we drafted a quarterback or um, we made a strong move for a guy like Justin Fields. Now, um, Kenny Pickett has – I mean, look, you've seen flashes of Kenny Pickett, but I believe we've seen the ceiling, y'all. He's he, We've seen it. We just we just have. Now, what can that change in a different offense with some different plays? Maybe we can get better production out of him, but, but we know Arthur Smith, you know, goes off of the play action and he's going to run the ball. And our run game has gotten a lot better, but 
do you think that, I mean, with the NFL going back to the old, trying to get back to the old school ground and pound game, is that what you think we're going to do here? Because, I mean, hardball coming back, we've seen how the Chiefs just, you know, they, they definitely had that formula. Um, Patrick Mahomes did not throw it all over the lot. They ran the ball uh, effectively uh, with Pacheco. And could that be happening in Pittsburgh? Now, Kenny, now, yes, I do think that Kenny Pickett can survive in a system like that. But still, however, your quarterback still has to be able to make plays. If they're not there, if they don't bite on the play action, your quarterback has to have the speed and the strength. Does Kenny have that? I mean, like he got the speed, but the strength is a questionable thing. And he's and is he a little fragile? He had concussions, took some hits, um, and he had an ankle injury last year. So for the two seasons that he's been there, he's already been hurt too. I think we go after a, a, a young veteran. I think we go after the young veteran and and Justin Fields. Um, even in that case, they say bring an older veteran in. No, I bring bring the younger veteran. The older veteran, even if he do take my position, he's only going to take it for two years max or year max. You know what I'm saying? There's really no pressure there. Um, really apply the pressure. Make him play. Bring out the best in him. Go and get Justin Fields. They're both. They're going to compete against each other. That's going to make both of them better. You're not only going to get good play up out of Kenny. Well, if Kenny got to come in, you know what I'm saying? Now we got two young, hungry quarterbacks. Do I think his play goes up if he Justin Fields? Absolutely. If Justin Fields is there, his play go up. Absolutely. Without a doubt. I mean, anybody, you bring in, that's just me. Because now he like, oh, yeah, yo, yeah, y'all want to bring him in and be the starter here. Me, hey, like, maybe that's what he needs. Maybe that's what he needs. You know what I'm saying? Or just in the just to relieve some pressure because of fans like me that really ain't give him a chance from the door, you know what I'm saying? Like for real, for real. Like, but um, but I did give him a shot. I, 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 you know, but I just don't, I just don't see our offense, you know, getting too much better, even under Arthur Smith. But uh, could this be a, just a ploy to show Chicago, like, yeah, we really not sweating that and making us look like we're not sweating that. But I, but the whole NFL, these analysts, everybody, any content creator, everybody who's saying that Justin Fields going to Atlanta, I don't believe Justin Fields really want to go to Atlanta. I don't believe that. I really, honestly, in my heart, I don't think he really wants to go to Atlanta. He said it on a podcast. Yeah, he named three weapons, y'all. Three, three weapons. Said he named three weapons. He named Kyle Pitts, Drake London, and Bijan. That's who he named. He ne- he didn't name nobody on the Steelers. He said, yeah, I like the Steelers, but he did say Steelers is, the, is a tough place to play. He did say that. He liked the atmosphere in Pittsburgh. Imagine him getting the atmosphere going in Pittsburgh. What? What? Uh, he likes that. He likes that energy. He liked that Pittsburgh energy, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, them, like, it's something about them Georgia boys that like that Pittsburgh energy. Look at Hans. Look at Hans, man. You know what I'm saying? Hans came from Georgia. Like, man, listen, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's something different. And if we get him and the them and listen, everybody out there know if the Steelers get Justin Fields, it's over. It's a wrap. They become one of the teams that go through in the AFC, and we don't want the Steelers to be there. In my mind, my bias mind, and I'm sure there's not a Ravens, uh, Bengals, or Browns fan. I know they're sitting there and they hoping some people probably praying the Steelers don't get Justin Fields, and that's a shame because you don't pray for nothing else. But I guarantee you, they probably they are like, do not let the Steelers get Justin Fields because I mean, even with average quarterbacks, we still a threat. We still a threat. Even with average quarterbacks, keyboard like man, listen, man, him and the, we ain't losing no more. We ain't we ain't losing the no. We ain't losing no more of them tight games that we should have won, and we're making deep playoff pushes. And I think Omar Khan is going to change it. And we're going to go get we're going to get fields. I don't think that we're going to spend. Um, we're not going to spend a first or second round pick on fields because. Number one, the Bears should have went when we offered the second round pick in the first place. And then 
you know, his production from last year. So we playing hardball like how we normally do. I think so. But we going back. But at, but at the end, we going we going to give her what she want because we because we know what we get in their fields. And Mike Tomlin knows what he's getting in fields. He knows it like deep down. But that's enough on my Steelers, though, you know, because I always be talking about it. But I'm going to keep bringing it because I love the situation. But now I'm about to get up into these Buffalo bills man because these bills got it going on right now man they tripping a little bit man but look if you're a bills fan would you give up your these three jordan poyer siren neil mitch morris for saquon barkley would you really be doing that like right now like is that okay i mean i did sign back vaughn miller i mean you need his veteran leadership on that defense i mean without a doubt I mean that that's 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 not for effects to do that, you know. All right, um, because you gotta bring back Vaughn Miller, right? You know, because when he's in when he's in there, that defense just becomes a threat. You gotta account for Vaughn Miller. You got to. The defense has to pay attention to him, right? You have to. The offense, I'm serious. The offense has to pay attention to Vaughn Miller, which takes a little bit of pressure off everybody else. Um. And remember, I was saying a running back or right receiver. I said running back first, then I went into right receiver, and I should have, you know, made it more clear. But I just like I just jumped all around. But really, either or is going to work for Buffalo, right? But Saquon is that perfect guy can catch out of the backfield, can line up in the slot if need be. <clears throat> you know, um, that Christian McCaffrey, Cordell Patterson, Debo Samuel's type, but he's a back. Saquon is that guy. Saquon is that guy. I would love to see Saquon in Buffalo. But could you imagine being a linebacker on an opposing defense and you're sitting there looking at, they're sitting in this pistol formation or shotgun formation and you got, you're looking at Josh Allen and Saquon Barkley side by side with each other. You like, oh my goodness. And you got Stephon Diggs on the outside, Gabe Davis. I mean, Shakir, he 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 was eyed in the playoffs, but like I said, the inconsistencies. Shakir needs to be consistent for the Bills. They need him to be consistent. Every week you come out there, you can't come out there cold. You know what I mean? Gabe Davis and, and Stefan, they be cold some games because they don't get targeted because they be doubled and triple covered like low key. They be triple covering Stefan Diggs low key. So you know. Gay gonna get off. They gotta double him. So you know for a fact if Shakir's doing the right, he's going to go off, but he's has not been that consistent. That's what I'm saying. So this would be perfect for the Bills. And this is not far fetched for the Bills to do something like this. They just let go for their wide right receiver Hardy because I believe the inconsistencies, right? Right? Y'all agree? Do you? I mean, I'm just saying. Then you got denied, uh, they getting that salary cap space open for somebody because this is not far fetched for the bills. The bills pay players immediately. If you produce in the bills, then they go after names in the free agency. I want him, and man, that's crazy. Man, Saquon, he he would that's that is y'all missing piece to me, Buffalo Bills. That is y'all missing piece if. Saquon Barkley is playing for the Bills when they play the Chiefs. They beat the Chiefs without a doubt. They beat the Chiefs without a doubt. No, no doubt in my mind if Saquon Barkley is a Buffalo Bill, the Buffalo Bills is in the Super Bowl last year. Yes, I'm going out on the limb and I'm saying that because he's just that is he's make he's make that offense that much more dangerous. That much more dangerous. Like, I mean, come on, man. I mean, like, really? And then they're gonna so they're gonna go young receive uh young receiver and then if I get a back like Saquon, y'all don't necessarily need y'all y'all still need a good another good route runner. I don't really care about speed for Buffalo. Buffalo does not need a speed guy. Buffalo needs another receiver that is smart and that can run routes very well. That's all they need is a good route runner. You know what I mean? Zay Weaver had elite route running in college. Yes. In the pros, it will translate over to good. 
Now, he has the chance to be elite if they lock down Stephon Diggs in Buffalo. But even Stephon Diggs is a little bit frustrated because why? Why is Stephon Diggs frustrated? He knows he's getting doubled and triple covered. He knows it. You know what I mean? They're, on, they're put in a zone. like their, their zone defense is literally barricading him in almost like it's in a basket. You know what I mean? Like... This is like, for instance, this is this is Stefan Diggs, and there's three guys, and their guys are around him. There's a guy here, a guy here, and a guy here. You know what I mean? And this is Stefan Diggs. They're like in a basket around him. The defense is it's crazy. The way I'm, it's just crazy. Like that's the best way that I can say it. But that's the way it is. They're like blanket blanket in him. You know, and he knows that. And he's like, come on, bro. Like, you can't be dropping balls and not running a hot route, hot route when Josh is calling a hot route. You know you, you're you going to be wide open. And you dropping it or 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 you not running the right route, bro. Like, it get frustrating because you know it, you know? And it, that, it is what it is, man. You know what I mean? It, that's just what it is there. And, and, and it can be frustrating, even as a veteran, when you're when you're teaching somebody under you and they're still not grasping it, you know what I'm saying? Or they're not performing up to the task. Now, they're going to keep secure because he can be, he can turn into that guy. I'm not saying that he can't. Shakur can turn into that guy. But that's why I, I, I do strongly believe there might be the Buffalo. It's not far fetched for them to be looking at uh, Coleman from Florida State University. They, there's this not. It's right down their alley. This is what Buffalo does. Like a big guy. Um, he don't got the speed to take the top off, but he's a great 50 50 ball guy. Tall can catch. Um, clutch. And his route running was his route running was good. You know what I mean? So in the NFL, we say it's okay, but he makes up for it 50-50. You know what I mean? So, what are you, you know, they going to get a, a good route runner. But I think Zay Weaver be perfect, especially if they get Saquon, you know, um, because he's, he's, he's fast, good route runner. And that's all Buffalo need. That's what they need, man. But I'm I'm super excited to see. But what would y'all think? Would y'all really want to get these three up to get Saquon Barkley? Um, if not, tell me, Bills fans, how y'all feel about this down in the comments. Um, to me, I you know, I think every guy is replaceable. You know what I'm saying? I think you get one shot at getting to Saquon Barkley and um and to help cook with those carries. The NFL might be moving back towards this ground and pound thing. Um, y'all don't have a quarterback dilemma like we do. I don't think y'all defense is missing a beat. Um, but y'all got it, man, because y'all pay people out there. But I want to know what y'all think, man, down in the comments. Y'all let me know, man. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff, man. I appreciate y'all coming through and kicking it with me real quick. You know, I just want to drop something. I will be seeing y'all Saturday for sure, 6.30 p.m. Want to see Chuck and Chubby live and co-host Shannon? Tune in to Fans Point of View. Saturday, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3.30 p.m. Pacific Time. But in the meantime, in between time, enjoy the content. Don't forget to hit your notification bell for all updates. Thank you for watching.